I'm sorry, Dr. Ohm, but your interdimensional portal research is simply too dangerous to continue. Please, Mr. Stark, reconsider. Interdimensional technology has been my, my life's work. I am truly sorry. We'll find some new project for you to work on. Oh, don't think so, Mr. Moneybag Stark. You're not going to stick me on some, some bathroom tissue improvement team. I've got bigger fish to fry. A doctor own, I presume. Please, step inside and avail yourself of the simple comforts of my automobile. Oh, uh, thank you. But I don't usually... Doctor, where is your scientific curiosity? I have a proposition I do not think you can refuse. Good heavens! All this for me? I don't understand. I am fascinated by your time dilation portals. I believe there's a lot of money to be made with this new technology. Oh, yes, of course. Money. Now tell me, Doctor. Have we a bargain? Doctor? Doctor Owen. Hello. I'm Dr. Sylvia Lopez. Uh, Dr. Lopez recently joined my team of scientists. She too was seeking greater reward for her efforts. She wants to work with you. Well, Owen, what do you say? Do you accept the position? Hello. I will take that as a yes. You've certainly given that little man enough big toys to play with. That little man is going to make me invincible. Imagine, with these interdimensional portals, the world will be at my mercy. And, as an added pleasure, I will be able to eliminate the biggest threat to my organization, Spider-Man. You know, I can hardly believe you're the real Peter Parker. For the last month, you've been so attentive. Paying attention to you isn't the hardest thing in the world to do. Especially when a certain webhead doesn't come between us. It's been so quiet lately. I've barely had to fire a web. Take that, you ugly monster! That's not a monster. It's a goblin. And I think he's kind of cute. Really? Felicia, you never cease to intrigue me. A winner! Oh, marvelous. I hope we might be able to get through one day without some kind of spider coming between us. Jason, I'm sorry. I can't help feeling the way I do about Spider-Man. Neither can I. Well, at least he hasn't been making any unscheduled appearances in your life lately. No, he hasn't. Maybe it's time I start appreciating somebody a little more reliable. Ready, Sylvia? Ready. Working! You're brilliant! Yes, I am rather, aren't I? Don't get too close! Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. I'd stake my reputation on it! Ah! Jonathan! interdimensional research. So if he isn't behind this, who is? Peter, look! Peter? He's run off again! Snag him with my... No! Ah, get these things off me! How did I get here? It'll take me an hour to web back to the carnival. Mary Jane will think I abandoned her again. A great month as Peter Parker, screwed up in five minutes as Spider-Man. And no one can explain where these mysterious holes are coming from. Oh, Jonathan! I did it! I made it back! Well, what happened to you? Well, 
I'm not sure exactly. When I was trapped between dimensions, I somehow became a magnet for these loose portals. I was terrified until I realized that I could control the portals with my mind. Watch this. Incredible. Wait, there's more. I can be here. Or here. Or here, before you can blink. Jonathan, that's amazing. I couldn't have done it without you. You see, I think possibly that is, well, I've grown quite fond of you over the last several weeks, Sylvia. Oh, Jonathan, I... I... Oh, I nearly forgot. There are still no explanations for this bizarre phenomenon, but New York has been thrown into a panic by these miniature black holes. What have I done? Got to repair the damage I've caused before someone is hurt! Come on now! Let's have no more of that! Can't leave you alone for five seconds, can I? Well, that seems to be the lot. Dr. Lopez, you are being surprisingly vague. I need more information. That is the bargain you've made with the Kingpin. Success! I've got holes in my pocket, right where they belong. Jonathan, Fist just called from his car. He's on his way. We've got to tell him what's happened. Do we? I wonder. All my life I've been kowtowing to money-grubbing fatheads like Fisk. Please, Sylvia, we must keep my secret for now. So, I take it your experiment was a success. Um, yes and no. It has yet to be perfected. I want that technology, and I want it soon. Do I make myself clear? Crystal, safety first, though. Wouldn't want to have an arm lopped off by an unstable portal, would we? <laughs> do your work, and do it quickly. Well, that went well. Jonathan, you have to tell him. What else can you do? Plenty. First, we must put this where he can't get his money-grubbing little fingers on it. Then, we set up a laboratory of our own. All we need is a little capital. And that's no problem. Not for... Ta-da! The spot! What did you find out, Dr. Connors? Your hunch was correct. Those spots were actually time dilation portals, similar to the one Stark created. They share some properties with black holes. They absorb radio waves, for example. But they lack the supergravity of their big brothers. Stark has issued a public statement saying he's not to blame. It's a fascinating puzzle. Fascinating and deadly. Maybe what Doc Connors said about radio waves being absorbed could be the answer I'm looking for. Hey, MJ, Liz, wait up! Mary Jane, let me explain. Liz, you may tell Mr. Parker that I think he should permanently disappear because we don't have anything left to talk about. Peter, Mary Jane said... Yeah, I heard. MJ, please. Mary Jane! Happy to see me, friend. Harry? Oh, you do remember. I thought you might have put me out of your mind when you stole MJ away from me. Thanks a lot, pal. Listen, Harry, I... Listen! This is just not my day. <sighs> Maybe Spider-Man will have better luck. <laughs>